All right, we're going to go ahead. So my mash is finished. Uh, I thought maybe it stalled. It's been about 10 days. So I added a little water to it. So I'm still going to check the gravity. I did not check uh, the gravity starting because I didn't have the meter when I made the mash on that. But I think it's going to be, uh, the measurement's going to be skewed because I did add, I uh, basically diluted it by adding water to see if I could get the uh, mash started again in case it stalled. But all the yeast settled down here, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get some over to it. It smells like alcohol. Yeah, let's get this in here. Oops. What's it going to take? Am I just going to make a mess here? without spilling it. A little more just for good luck. Let's see what that and let's give this ah filled it up too much oh well definitely right to the top are just into the red which I mean just below beer so yeah that I don't know that that's uh, we're just hitting in there I may have diluted it so it's throwing it off um, still gonna run it it's stopped and we're gonna move forward with this All right, let's pour this in here. Ah, a little heavy. Ah, let's get this in here and get this going. Eh, could have scooped out the peaches first, but that's okay. We're in no hurry. Let's keep her going. I tasted this and it definitely tastes like sour mash. Uh, they named it. That definitely is correct name for that. There's some alcohol in there. I didn't taste any sugar on that. So the yeast definitely ate up all the sugar. Um, on there so we may be ready and I just screwed up the gravity meter uh, by adding that water to it trying to get it started again that so we'll just keep I'm probably going in and out of camera here because I got the camera uh, based on that you guys keep subscribing I may be able to hire a head editor or something uh, eventually, if I can get 100,000 views or 100,000 subscribers, uh, so make sure you click the subscribe button and we could get a little more of a process going here. Yeah, right here, right now, it's just me uh, with the camera mounted on the tripod. Let's go back and forth there. 
And I'm going to go ahead and get some of these peaches out. I'm going to pause you for a second. All right, we're back running. Got rid of some of those peaches. Get the rest of this in here. As you can see, I am filling up my pot. Uh, I'm not running the uh, thumper this time. I'm going to go ahead and run the column still. I don't have any um tails to put in my thumper i like putting tails in there uh just to add a little alcohol content um somebody had commented and doesn't really make sense to me maybe i haven't been doing this long enough but said don't put anything in the thumper seems to me that kind of defeats the purpose of having a thumper is that double distillation. Uh, I've been trying to add flavors, but that hasn't been working out. I'm just basically double distilling it uh, on that. But um, yeah, if somebody could comment to that uh, and kind of explain to me what it does when you don't put anything in the thumper. Because I've always thought you need to put a little bit, whether one third or two thirds in the thumper of something uh, on that. Um, I would love to get other people's perspective on uh, leaving the thumper empty, whether that's just a waste of time. It just, I mean, why have the thumper? Just bypass it if you're not gonna put anything in it. So yeah, if somebody comment and let me know what the difference of not putting something in the thumper and adding something to the thumper if there is a difference or in my mind um you might as well not run the thumper if you're not going to put anything in it so yeah please comment on that i'd love to get other people's opinion on it all right get this going and this will probably be my last peach. I think I'm going to start running apples here pretty soon. It's getting in the, well, it's the middle of August. Man, but we should be getting some fresh apples here pretty soon, I would think. Um, so I'll probably start running something else other than I've done these yellow peaches enough. Uh, let me, let me empty this. Back to our movie magic. Let's pause this. All right, we are back. Let's get the lid off this one. And I know I'm out of camera. But trust me, I'm taking the lid off. The, the second uh, six-gallon carboy here. Let's get this in here. Go. Put this back up here. And keep this going. Let's pour it in there. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, what's in here? I end up trying to put too much in and then I spill it. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep, keep from doing that. But we'll get it in there. We should have, and after removing the peaches and everything, we should have about 10 gallons in that 15 gallon uh, keg there. So, yeah. And we'll run the column and then I'll probably do apples next time and run have some tails left over from this uh, put the tails in there and run the uh, thumper again go from there and this time I'll be checking um, the uh, gravity before I uh, pitch the yeast and then check it after and we'll 
get a better reading this time or next time I should say on that all right we're back get the rest of this in here keep pouring get it in here sorry I keep going in and out of the camera stick this is the only way to I guess for some shots I could use a selfie stick uh, I see other people using them trying to do things one-handed but oh I could not do this one-handed so next best thing is the tripod on that of course what I think I'm in camera at least when I tested it, it should be so but this ought to be pretty good. I'm excited to run the column still again. Uh, on here, I haven't done 10 gallons in a long time. Usually I run the little pony keg uh, pot. Uh, this, but uh, yeah, we're going to run the whole 10 gallons. So let's get this in here. And we'll keep going. So, I might get an echo when I talk next to this. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're all in. Let that drain in there. Alright, we got this set up. Let's go ahead, get this lit. Let's turn this on a little bit. That definitely flamed up. Let's see if we can get on the camera. There we go. We're cooking with gas now. Alright. There's never any I put this on here, uh, but there's not much heat that comes through, but I'm sitting on carpet in the garage, so instead of rolling it up, uh, we'll just put this down here, but you can see I can put my hand down here. It's not burning uh, at all, so it doesn't get hot down there. Is it the best way to do it? Probably not, uh, but that's how we're set up. Yeah been about a half hour and we're just a little above uh, 100 degrees right now so we're starting to heat up on that and moving right along and there's our flame right there I don't have it turned up super high and let's see that is a little warm down there uh, on that but I can hold my hand right there that's not too bad so i'm glad i put this tile down here uh on that that's interesting so i turned my fan on uh little garage fan i got uh made if you must so that's it over there uh but uh it apparently cooled down my copper pipe right here a few degrees so we turn that off for a little bit just so we can get going on that so we'll that come up but just that little bit of breeze cooling off that copper on that Oop. all right we are dripping away got our water going in here 
So it's circulating, and we got a pretty good stream coming out of there into our little acetone catch bucket we are at. Uh, see if we can get this to focus there. So we're probably at 180 degrees, getting up to 190 there. We're getting there, and we'll catch a little more. Um, of the acetone and then uh, go from there. All right. Well, there's our little first little bit coming out, and it is coming out at about 120 proof out of that. So there we go. There's our first jar of heads right there. I've already taken out uh, the. Uh, uh, acetone so I threw away the first uh, uh, little bit and now we're into our alcohol the heads at that point we're running about 200 on the meter right there so we are chugging along at the moment and got our brew going and I turned down I did turn down the heat you can see it's turned way down, so I may turn it down some more at this point. But there we go. There's our first little bit coming in. So I was leaking a little bit on my seam while well, right here. I uh, forgot I had to put my board on, so I got the board on there for support, and it stopped leaking. We're running... Uh, about 190 uh, looks like right now it's coming out and it's actually coming out um, it's autofocus there come on uh, what it one four well 137 ish on that so we're cooking along it's uh, not too bad it's I don't know if the camera is picking it up. It's a little more foggier than I would like, but that's okay. It's not too bad. But yeah, we're just getting started, tweaking little things. I haven't run this one, this still in a little while. I got uh, my ice jugs over here, in there. I'll put some more in there. Uh, get that water cool the temp. Cause let's see here. Uh, it's cold. It's coming out fairly cool that so all right we're making moonshine all right we are getting ready to swap out our first jar uh, we're coming out uh, let's see here where are we at there come on autofocus uh, about 157 or so and I put the thermometer in, so it's coming out about 83 degrees. Uh, probably this is not helping because, well, it's 85, according to the little clock thermometer on the wall there, out here. So that's where we're at and where are we at on our temperature. We're still uh, about 200 on that right there there we go so we'll swap out the jar in a second here uh, i just wanted to put that in get an idea i don't know what the math is there's probably a sheet somewhere saying the temperature's this your alcohol's at that but right now so yeah it's coming out just above uh, or below 160. so let's go ahead get our second jar get the milk jug Milk jug distillery here, so let's go ahead and swap this out. That up there. Actually, I was thinking that was a little foggy, but it's it's fairly clear on that, and that's about uh, 155's bubbles right there. There we go. I wanted to stick the 
thermometer in there. So, I know my hand's in the way. But it's about, the with the ice jugs, about 66 degrees. So, my water temp's pretty cold coming out of there. It just, I think it warms up. Once it hits that proofing parrot, uh, coming out of there. Uh, put an ice jug around the proofing. Well, as you can see, we're halfway into our uh, second jar. And we are at, what is it, about 125 or so. So the proof's going down on that. And we're at about 200 that and that's where we're at on our still today so uh, we're doing good and let's see here there we are reverse can't really see me in the there we go kind of see me all right so yeah we're it's uh moving along we're getting to it so we'll keep going and uh go from there So here is, we're about to change the jar out, so I just wanted to uh, show you where we're coming out at, uh, about 100 proof on the second jar on that, so we'll get that changed out. There we go. hoping to get more jars out of it, but uh, uh, I think I need to pump the sugar up a little more uh, out of that. That's, that's again, uh, the gravity was very low when I checked it, and um, I don't know why. Uh, I got to check the gravity. That was the one thing I did not have the meter, uh, but I will check the gravity. Do it, and we're gonna switch. Uh, probably do apples next on this, and get a little better yield. Something we haven't got in the camera shot for a while. We haven't got Cedric in there for a while. Mentioned Cedric uh, Garage Owl. Uh, Got to get him in there. He gets mad if I don't uh, talk about him, so we'll bring Cedric in. But here's where we're at. We're at about 90. Alright, here's the third jar filling up. We're at probably still right at 90. Come on. That does not want to. There we go. Got to push the right thing to get that autofocus to work. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and cherry this out. See if we can do this without spilling too much. And yeah, that was sad. Uh, don't nobody look. I spilled a little. Some gold there. And so we're coming out 90 and uh, we're about 210 or so thing. It's probably, we're going to wrap this up with this last jar here. On that. Alright, so I got uh, one more jar out of there. Decided to go ahead, since we're at about 80 proof, uh, go ahead and We'll catch one of these jars full, see how far it goes, because it's still dripping pretty good uh, on that, and go from there. But the temp is climbing. It's getting up there on that. So we'll just let this run, and we'll call this jar the tails uh, on this one. And uh, then we'll call it a day. All right, there's our last 
that's the last jar we're going to do uh, on that. Would we? So we stopped at. Let's see if I can zero in on that 60 proof. One last jar. So got about a gallon and a half out of all that. And there we go. Uh, that is our peach uh, brandy run. Um, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe.